to do something live. Any, anything you want. Okay. There's a little song called Rhythm of the Rain. studio this afternoon uh, looking at I was just looking at some of your notes there and uh, very interesting they are too because you're born in Hampstead uh, Hampstead London and uh, you grew up in Camden and a chance meeting with uh, Mark Bolan with your dad you yeah actually you, what your dad knew Mark did he no he, he was work my dad was a window fitter basically and he was working on his house uh -huh. and see I was about 12 years old my dad had just bought me a guitar and he said to Mark Bolan what are you doing and he said, I'll play the guitar. And he said, well, my little boy wants to play the guitar. Will you teach him? And he said, yeah. And was Mark quite well known then? Yeah. And he was quite happy about it. Oh, it was, like, it was great. And your dad didn't realise he no, was... No, he really didn't sort of <laughs> know who he was, right, do you know? Yeah. And it was, but, and ever since then, really, I mean, I've always, it's all about giving for me. The music has always been about giving something. And that's what he taught me, really, was to, yeah, if you, it, not so what, to you be just went, of it. you just went around Mark's place and yeah, sat down. And he taught, and yeah, and he taught me some chords and how to, again, looking back on it now, I didn't realise what I had at the time, if you know what I'm saying. I really Very didn't, much I didn't so, yeah. I, but he taught me basically how to perform and not to be frightened and not to, and to stand up there and be counted, if you know what I'm saying, like that. That's what he would really taught me. Well, that's impressive, isn't it, to uh, have a, a teacher like Mark Boland 
Uh, yeah, but I, wa no, I wasn't really a fan of his though. You know, Slade were my band. I was a big fan of Slade, <laughs> so I wasn't really that phased by it. I just thought, oh, okay. You know, it's Mark Bowen. But later on, I mean, over the years now, I've, I've realised now what, I, what I've got, you know, and some people say to me, you're so lucky, and I, I know I'm lucky. Yeah. But at the time, you, when you know you're 12 to 14 years old, you don't realise. You just don't, don't even think about it. Yeah, because like Mark Bowen is like an icon, and, yeah. and was then in the 70s, without any mistake. I love to boogie and was, uh, yeah. uh, first it was Tyrannosaurus Rex. I remember introducing him once at the Lyceum and he walked out and he was very polite and he sat down at a full-on house and he said, thank you for coming. That's it. And no, that was it. he's a gent. He was an absolute great guy. Yeah, no, this was to yeah. the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And he just sat down and uh, got on with him and Mark Finn, if I remember yeah. rightly. Mickey. Mickey Finn. Mickey Finn, yeah. Mickey Finn. And uh, yeah, it's a drink, Mickey Finn, isn't it? But uh, anyway, Mickey Finn and uh, Mark were together and, uh, and then... Uh, didn't he get dropped when he went to T-Rex or something, or, or stayed with them? Yeah, you know uh, what, Mick? No, Mickey Finn was with T was with, with T-Rex all all the time. Yeah. No, that, that's that's fantastic. Mark Bowen teaching you the guitar. Mm. It's almost like Zach Starkey. Uh, it was great for him because um, Keith Moon. Keith, Keith yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think. Of things. He did teach him to play the trance, yeah. but it was Keith Moon in fact. And uh, you know that put him in good stead.